Praise the Lord. I'm Reverend Michael Jakes. You know, it's at the cross where we first saw the light, as the song says, and we need to get back to that place. Because unfortunately, the church has abandoned the cross in so many ways. The cross is not just a place where we find forgiveness, but the cross is the place where we will also find our sanctification. So we need to get back to the cross. I pray that you will be blessed as you listen to this word. Well, I give honor to God. Give honor to God for what he's doing. I know God is going to do some great things in our lives here. And also, uh, unexpected surprise. See my sister Danielle here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Former Sunday school. Uh, we taught Sunday school together many years ago. And here you are right now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. One of my mentors here again and my old Sunday school partner. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I praise God. I praise God because I know that God is, I know that God is on the move. And uh, I know that God is getting us ready uh, for something great. And uh, there's, if we will just surrender, if we can just surrender ourselves to the will of God, this is not something that's easy. Surrendering to the will of God, it's easy to talk about it, it's easy to teach about it, it's easy to preach about it. But surrendering to the will of God is something that is difficult because we have so much of us in us. We have so much self that we don't want to let ourselves go. We so, we're so willing to just hold on to ourselves that to do the will of God is difficult sometimes, even though we know it's the right thing to do. It's the thing that we should do. But the will of God comes hard sometime to just hold on to self. If we could just let go and let God, we will see a move of God like we have never yes, seen yes, before. Amen. No God is going to work. I'm going to take off the jacket already because I know it's going to get hot. <laughs> I know it's going to get hot. Amen. Amen. Well, we made it to the end of the year. And God has uh, God has blessed us this year, and there's a few more days for God to bless, and we're looking forward to God to continue to bless us. Let me bring you to Acts chapter five before we go any further. Let's, let's Acts chapter five. We're going to read a portion of scripture, Acts chapter five, uh, starting in verse number twelve. Acts chapter five, and that's starting in verse. Number 12. It says, And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. Uh -huh. Let's all stand as we read this word, please. Amen. And and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Yeah. And of the rest, there no man joined himself to them, but the people magnified them. And believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes, both of men yes. and women. Yes. Insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. Mm -hmm. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed every day. One. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray that you might have yes. your way today. Yes. Lord, we pray you might bless your word as it yes. goes forth, Lord yes. Jesus. Yes. Anoint these words as they yes. come forth. And I pray you might anoint the ears of those who are listening today. Lord, you have a word for us today. Lord, and I pray that you might use this word yes. to encourage us, to convict us, to comfort us, to bring us out from yes. our comfort levels, Lord Jesus. Yes. Lord, I pray that you might have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. As we, as I was saying just a minute ago, God has been doing some things and we expect him to do some more things. We've seen so far in the world, we've seen the world changing right before our eyes. We look at this ISIS thing, we look at the different things in the government, in our own government, there are things that are taking place 
And things are going to continue to change as time goes on. And in the church world, things are changing. Uh-huh. There's one thing that the church is doing and has been doing that has caused the church to become a powerless church. Mm-hmm. I mean, a powerless on, church. Amen. In a very real way, the church has been abandoning the cross. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The cross. The cross is the place where we come to get, as Anthony already said, to get revitalized, regenerated. The cross is the place where we come to find what we need. Mm -hmm. But nowadays we have, there's a conglomeration of different things mixed in with the cross. And when you try to mix things with the cross, you dilute what the cross is all about. Yes, that's right. And so the cross is left not able to do what it can because it's been mixed with other things. We need to go back to the cross, back to only the cross, so that we can see the power of God work. I hear a lot of talk about shifting. I don't pretend to know a whole lot about shifting. But here's what I do know. God, God himself, God doesn't need to shift because he's God. God does not need to shift and align himself with our programs. Come on. We need to shift. Yes, that's right. To line ourselves up with God's program. That's the way it needs to be. So in our own life, as we Go into the new year. God has been talking to me about things that we need to do in our life. Things that we need to do to align ourselves with his program. Things that we need to do. We need to shift Mm -hmm. in many areas in our own life. Number one, we need to, we need to shift or change how we pray. Mm. We need to change how we pray. If you go to Acts chapter 4, verse number 23, 31 actually, Acts chapter 4 and verse 31, Amen. we're going to be using our Bibles today, Amen. Acts chapter 4 and verse 31, mm-hmm. it says, and when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost uh-huh. and they spoke the word of God with Boldness. Mm, yes, Listen. Yes, come on. If we want to see a shaking in our life come on. and in our churches, we got to get back to praying in faith, with expectation, mm-hmm. and in one accord. one accord. If we can pray that way, we will see some shaking in our lives. Mm-hmm. Because whether you know it or not, there are some things in your life and my life that need to be shaken loose. Come on, right we, shake. Come on, I need we are not the people that we think we are. Come on, that's all. Right. Tell us. You're not who you think you are. I'm not who I think I am. I would like to think I'm this upstanding Christian man who loves the Lord, who would never think of doing nothing. Don't get hyped about yourself. Come on. Right. Oh, yes, yes. There are some things that need to be shaken loose. Yes, we are not who we think we, we are. are. Yes, yes. And when we get into the presence of God, it says when they had prayed, that place was shaken. The same way our lives need to be shaken, some things need to be shaken loose in some of our churches. Mm. Some things that are going on. Some things that are happening, some ideas, some doctrines, some things got to be shaken loose. Uh-huh. We got to come back to the cross. Yes. Back to the cross. Yes, yes. We need yes. to be shaken this morning. Lord, yes. help us. Help us. To pray in such a way. Come on, come on. That Lord, you shake some stuff loose in yes, our life. Yes, yes. Lord, shake our churches, shake, Lord. Shake. Do what it is that you need to do in our life so we can be more like you. Yes, amen. We got to be more like you. Listen. The world, when it comes to the cross, the world, well, let me talk to the preacher first. The preacher, all of us are preachers, actually. You just don't know it yet. Come on, come on. Come all on. of us have been called to preach the gospel. That's right. Amen. That's in right. one way or preach another. It. Preach it. 
The cross offends people. Yes. Mm-hmm. People don't like the cross. Mm-hmm. I didn't say Jesus. I didn't say God. <laughs> people don't like the cross. Yes. If you come up talking about the cross, that's going to cause some problems. If you have a message that everybody in the world is embracing and loves it, there's something wrong with your message. Because the cross Come on. is going to make some enemies. Yes, yes. The right. Bible talks about enemies of the cross. Yes, yes. So be careful what you preach. If we are telling people that if you give your heart to Jesus, everything's going to be all right. Mm. Everything's going to be good. You're going to have another problem. Money's going to start pouring in. And no, come, no, on, no. come on, come on. That's a lie. You lying there. Come on, Dad. You lying. <laughs> Talk to us. That, that's, that's not how it goes. That's right. I was online yesterday, and I was, and I was looking at this website. There is a website, and I'm going to tell you the name of the website. Be careful when you go up there because it's 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 a real website, but my computer got stuck on it and I couldn't get off. And it's called <laughs> really, really. The name of the website is called pimppreacher.com. <laughs> don't Google it. Don't Google it now. But pimppreacher.com. And they get 10 preachers that you need to be careful of. And there's one that I've known about for years. And I let, let me tell you, every time I get a chance to talk about this particular preacher, I do it. Come on, come on. That's right, come on. He has conferences every now and again. And he calls them Money Cometh Now conferences. He preaches in his church and he will not allow you to sit in his church as he preaches unless you come up and put money on the pulpit as he preaches. He comes on TV. I've seen the man in action. His pulpit is green the color of your dollar bill. It's green. It's green. And it's no joke. This man preaches and he preaches out of the Bible he twists it, he yes, turns it, yes. he's lying, yes. and the people are amening and hallelujah and they believe it. Mm-hmm. If you don't read this word yourself, yes, come on. and somebody come and lie to you, come on. it's your fault. That's right. Yeah. That's, right. That's, right. That's, That's right. your fault. If somebody lie to you from this book, because it's called scripture twisting, people will do that to you. That's right. So That's right. make sure that your message that you tell people is a real message, is a true message, a message from Scripture. Preach Jesus. Preach Jesus and you will not go wrong. Amen. Amen. The second thing God's been laying on my heart that we need to change in the coming year is not just how we pray, but how we listen. Mm -hmm. How we we listen. listen. Acts chapter 4. Let's go up a few verses at chapter 4, verse number 19, starting in verse number 19. Mm-hmm. It says, But Peter and John answered and said to them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken to you more than God judge you, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. Yes. We need, as we go into the new year, we need to be disobedient to the voices around us that are telling us to be quiet. This is not the time to be quiet. Uh This is the time to speak out. This is the time to be vocal. This is the time to tell people about Jesus. Listen, it's all coming to a head. I know we've been told that for years. I've read about it for years. It's here. But the time is drawing near. The Bible says his coming now is closer than when we first believed. Yes, yes. It's coming. It's It's coming. coming. Jesus is coming back. And whether you're ready or not, he's coming back. Back. So we need to we need to watch and change 
how we listen. Because if we don't hear his voice, mm -hmm. we're going to hear somebody's voice. Come on, that's right. We have to be at the best place we can be when we want to hear his voice, and that's sitting at his feet. Mm. Sitting at his feet is the place where we hear from the Lord. Yes, yes. And it was just saying, but that it was just saying uh, how he needs to be in prayer. We all need to be in prayer because yes, yes. God has some things that he wants to tell you that yes. are just for you. Yes, yes, yes. Just for you. What he tells him, what he tells me is not what he's going to tell you. Mm -hmm. You need to get along with God so he can commune with you yes. by yourself. Yes, yes. And so we need to find ourselves at his feet. Lord, mm -hmm. Lord, yes. help us in the coming year to remain at your feet. This is the place where we need to be. The world is going to pull you in every direction. Yes, yes, every direction. Yes. The world is going to pull you at your job, at home, in school, wherever you go, the world is going to pull you. But you still need to find that place at his feet yes. where you can just hear from him. Yes, Forget yes. about everybody else. Don't worry about the kids. Don't worry about the job. Don't worry about anybody or anything else. You need to find that place. Find that time. Get alone with God so you can hear from him. Amen. He's got some stuff for you. Yes. He's got some stuff for you this year. Yes, yes, yes. We need to also we need to also change. Change the way we see. Change the way we see in the coming year. Uh, Hebrews 2 and chapter he, Hebrews 2 and verse number 9 says in part, but we see Jesus mm -hmm. who was made a little lower than the angels Amen. for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor mm -hmm. that he by the grace of God should taste death yes. for Amen. every man. Amen. We have to be careful not to be blinded by sight. Blinded by sight. What's that? Being blinded by sight is being blinded by the things that you see. The things that we see that seem important, important enough for us to get involved. Case in point, we know there is injustice. We know that there are things going on in this world on a national local level that are just not right. Mm -hmm. There's just wrong. There's no other word. It's, it's wrong. It's bad. If I take it upon myself as a Christian to get involved in these types of issues, I mean to get involved, entrenched in them, it's going to detract from my devotion to the Lord. Here's how. My first and foremost act as a Christian. He saved me not just to go to heaven. It's a byproduct. I'm going to go to heaven. If I'm saved, I'm going to heaven. He saved me to make disciples. Mm, that's right. That's right. So if I do become entrenched in a movement, in a social movement, if I do get involved in something like that, I would only get involved to make disciples. That's so most of the people involved in these things are not can't be a judge, obviously, but most of the people involved in these things are not Christian, I am presuming. So if I involve myself in this, I may be putting aside that which is more needful. The most important thing that needs to happen, even more than justice in this world, the most important thing that needs to happen for every man and woman is that they get Jesus as their savior. Yes, yes. Everybody needs to know Jesus. Yes. Everybody in the Black Lives Matter movement needs to know Jesus. Come on. That's right. If you get Jesus in the person, then there won't be any need for any Black Lives Matter. Uh -huh. If everybody 
was a Christian. We know everybody's not going to be a Christian, but if everybody got to know who Jesus yes, was, yes, 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 they got to know in the police department. Mm. Mm. Everywhere you go, if everybody knew Jesus, there wouldn't be a need for this and that and black lives this and white lives this. and There wouldn't be a need because everybody would be unified in Christ. Mm -hmm. That's, right. that's what would happen. Now, we know that's not going to happen <laughs> the way I'm saying it. But yet, and still, my number one goal as a Christian is to preach the gospel. Yes. yes Go yes, ye into right, all the world right. and preach the gospel to every creature. Come on. That's the right. world is wherever you are. You may never be a missionary. You may never go to another country. Your country is where you are. Come on. Be a missionary. Yes, Tell yes. somebody right. about Tell Jesus somebody. wherever somebody. you are. Wherever you are. That's wherever right. you find yourself. Tell somebody about Jesus. Right. So we need to change how we see. How we see. This scripture came to me yesterday as I was preparing this. We need to change. We need to change how we follow. Mm -hmm. Change how we follow. Yes, that's right. Psalm 63 8 says, My soul followeth hard after, after thee. Yes. Thy right hand uh -huh. upholdeth me. Yes, yes. To follow hard means to follow close. Mm -hmm. Close. Come on. We said earlier that the world wants to pull. The world wants to pull you away from that which you need to take you away. We need to follow close after God. We cannot be content with just church. Having church. See, this is what I meant by when I said the world has... The world has sort of degenerated and gotten away from the cross because now, now we're no longer the powerful marching on church, mm -hmm. which by the way, though I say that, the Bible says that uh, the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Oh, that's right. That's right. And so no matter what the, the church may seem to be, come on, come on. the gates of hell, yes. the yes. church will march on. Yes, yes. yes. Now, having said that, the church today is now a a feel good church. Oh my God. We the feel good church now. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the uh, we are the we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, so yeah. you could be comfortable in your sin kind of church. All right, now. Yeah. Come on. We 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 don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. We are we are now the let's make everybody feel at home kind of church now. That we we want to. We are pulling away from the cross. We're trying to make the gospel palatable or make it sound good to the rest of the world to bring them in. But we do injustice to the cross. Yes. As I said, the cross is going to offend some people. That's right. And so we can't, we can't make it sound nice. Mm. Yes, that's mm. right. That's right. Jesus Come died. On. He shed yes. his blood yes. for yes. your sins. Yes, my God. Yes. The did, cross did, is going to have did. enemies. The, the cross is going to convict. The cross is going to cause people to feel bad about their sin. That's guilt. That's the Holy Ghost conviction. But people don't want that. Rather, we have now the let's tickle my ears, church. Make me feel good. Make me feel good. Tell us the truth. Tell me something nice. Tell me how good I am. Tell me how powerful I am. Tell me how rich I can become. That's the church that we are becoming and have become. We've gotten away from the cross. The cross. We need to follow hard. We need to get close. We need to get back to the place where we belong. Follow Hard, my soul follows hard after thee, Lord. We don't need any more religion. Religion is going to catapult millions of people into hell. Yes, sir. Religion. Yes. Did you go to church today? Yes, I went to church. What you did? I clapped. I sang. I said Amen, and I'm here now. Saying all that with the little funeral. Yeah, I was in church. Yeah, yeah. You know, I went to church. I went to a funeral down south years ago. Down south years ago. I can't remember. It was on my, one of my relatives. 
And I got to that funeral and the funeral was over. And one of the deacons that was inside, one of the deacons that was up there on the thing and he was he wasn't holding the he wasn't holding the uh the coffin, but there's one of the deacons standing up there. I look over there after the service and I see him across the way. He lit up. And he was smoking. Not across the way. He wasn't trying to hide. He was standing out in front of the church. He was smoking. This is one of the deacons. And I said, Mercy. Mercy. What, what, what's going on? You see, that's 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 the place where the church has become, where sin doesn't bother nobody anymore. You can do what you want to do. You can act the way you want to act. You can say what you want to say. I believe I told I told this group the story about the, the preacher. You were there that 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 was standing up preaching, but he testified before he preached. He stood up and he gave a testimony. And the man stood up there and t said that the cops pulled him over. You remember this? He said that the cop he said that the cops pulled him over today. And just before he get to preach, the cop pulled me over today. And I pulled my car over. And and the cop Got out the car, got out the car. So what's the problem, officer? And he said, the cop called me a... Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the the words, the real words. The cop called me, I can't. I, I'm not even going to say the letters that he used. But trust me, it was an official curse. Bad word. A, a whole slew of them. Cop called me a... Bleep, 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 bleep. And... It was a service, it was a meeting with all pastors and, quote, bishops sitting there. And so this, quote, bishop is standing up there telling this little story about what happened to him that day, cursing and carrying on. And I'm sitting out there, and lightning bolts came all in my head and my eyes and my face. And I'm going like, my goodness, what is he saying? He, he's, he's, a, he's a minister. He's standing up on the inner church. Cussing like it's no deal, no big deal. Uh, and all the other bishops were sitting there. No, no nobody saying that, everybody. Mm. And then when he got, you know, when you get to the end of a testimony, it's something that God did, and, and everybody said, hey, hey, man, hey, man, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. I didn't hear nothing else that this man said. <laughs> <laughs> if the pastor gets up here, any pastor gets up anywhere. And start cursing. You got to walk out. Amen. You got to walk out. Amen. I have heard over my years. I've heard pastors curse, and I'm like, "Whoa!" Is listen, profanity is something that is when it becomes a part of your life and it usually does come a part of people's life at a young age it really gets entrenched in there yes it does it gets it gets entrenched and and and, and we use substitute words we say goodness gracious <laughs> gee whiz oh my gosh we say all these words that they're really substitutes for the real word that really is ringing in our brains yeah, that's right if a pastor stands up here and curses I'm talking about the real word. Curses. Mm. Empty the joint. That's right, that's Exodus. Right. That's right. That's right. Get up. Come on. Head for the door. Because there's somewhere somewhere else that you need to be. You don't need to be under an old pastor that is. Because if, if he could preach, if he could uh, 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 curse in the church, don't tell him what he's doing at his house or outside the door. Yeah. So. You got to leave him alone. You got to leave him alone. That's right. We need to change in the coming year how we fellowship. Amen. How we fellowship. Acts chapter 4, verse number 23. And being let go, they went to their own company. Mm -hmm. And reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to uh -huh. them. Let me ask you a question. Do you have your own company? I'm not talking about business. They went to their own company. Mm -hmm. 
They had just been threatened. They had just been told not to speak in Jesus' name anymore. Mm -hmm. They had been told in no uncertain terms that if they do it again, you're going to really be in trouble. And so they go. And the Bible says these men that were threatened now go to their own company, tell them what had happened. And in verse number 24, it says they lifted up their voice to God and began to pray. And later, the, later on, the place began to shake. Listen, you need your own company. A group of people, like-minded people, yes, yes, that think like you, that breathe like you, that believe like you. You need people. Yes. You need to surround yourself with yes. people that think like you come think. On. Come on, I'm not talking about ideas and different things. I'm talking about having people around you that can lift you up, build you up, yes. strengthen you. Yes, yes, Lord. Because the world is doing just the opposite. The world is trying to strip you down and beat you down and tear you down. You need to come into a place like this where people will embrace you. Yes. Amen. Amen. And love you. Love you. Come on. I need some love. And lift you up. Yes. yes. That's what we need. Yes. Yes. In the coming year, seek out people that will lift you up. Come on. That's right. Seek out people that are going to lift yes, you up. Praise him, praise him. Enough of people trying to tear you down. And you, look, you're going to have your haters. As soon as you mention Jesus, you got haters. Yes, yes, yes. That's automatic. Forget, you know, as soon as you say, yeah, I went to church. And they, oh, and in their mind, something goes off. Church, God, Jesus. And if you say the word Jesus, then it's really on. Then it's really on. If you say Jesus. That's right. That's but what right. happened to you? Who she thinks she is? She thinks she's all she talks. Jesus. Look. It's, listen, it's never about you. Hallelujah. It's never, never about you. If you say the name Jesus, that's what they mad at. That's what they mad at. That's what they mad at. It's, it's, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. You keep shouting, you keep your eyes on Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. You keep your focus on Jesus. That's right. That's right. I know you're gonna you're gonna open up your Bible, you're gonna say Jesus, you're gonna say church, and people are gonna say, Shout them. <laughs> well, say what? Yeah. What? Wait, now I remember. Shut? You mean that shut? Yes. <laughs> that's right. That's right. People are gonna drop off. That's right. Little by little. Yeah. Gonna drop off. Yeah. If you keep magnifying Jesus, Amen. people Amen. gonna drop off. Amen. That's right. That's right. And you're gonna be left that's all right. with your own company. Yes. Yes. Amen. And that's all right if if people drop off. That's right. That's Sometimes right. family gonna drop off. Oh, come on now. Sometimes family don't want nothing to do with you. What you say? Jesus. What? Jesus. <laughs> 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 Sometimes they're gonna let you go. But it's all right because when you're in Christ. It's family. Yes. 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 It's family. So seek out your own company. Like-minded people. People that's going to love you and lift you up. Thank you, amen. 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 Finally, we need to we need to change how we preach. Yes. We need to change how we preach. Over and over again. In the book of Acts, mm -hmm. we see exactly what they preached about. And when I say preaching, when I when I say the word preach, I'm speaking specifically to those who actually are called to preach. And I'm speaking to those who proclaim the word by witnessing. It's all about Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's always all about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter eight, verse five. Philip went down to the city of Samaria uh -huh. and preached Christ yes, unto did. them. Yes, he did. Preached Christ. Yes. He didn't preach self. He didn't preach politics. He preached Christ. Yes, amen. Acts chapter 8 and verse 25. You don't have to turn to these. And they, when they had testified and preached the word of the Lord, yes, returned amen. to Jerusalem and preached the gospel in many villages ah, yes. of the Samaritans. Yeah. Yeah. Acts 8.35. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him yes. Jesus. Yes. 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 Acts 9.20. And straightway he preached 
Christ in the synagogue that he is the son of God. Yes. Acts 13, 5, they preached the word of God. Acts 14, 7, and they preached the gospel. Yes. Acts 14, 21, and when they had preached the gospel Come to on. that city. Come on. Acts 14, 25, and when they had preached the word in Perga. Come on. Yes. Acts 15, 36, in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord. And in Acts 17, 18, because he preached Unto them yes. Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Over and over again in the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. Their focal point was Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Right. Jesus. Yes. Preach yes. Jesus. Amen. Speak Jesus. Yes. Teach Jesus. Jesus. Right. Tell people Jesus. about Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Your testimony is an Jesus. excellent mm. way to get them to see Jesus. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. get it off yourself quick. Uh -huh. Talk about Jesus. Talk about yeah. Jesus. I used to be this and this is, but you know how I got the way I am right now? It was Jesus. Jesus. Come on. That's right. I used to do this. I don't do it anymore. You know why? It's because of Jesus. Oh, it's oh, always God. about Jesus. Yes. Lord, my help God. us remember God. that the message my is God. about my God. you. It's the message you. is about you. Jesus. It's all about you. Jesus. Mm. Listen, mm. the Lord has built. And is building a holy church. Yes. Powerful church. Yes, yes. And we are vessels of that power. Mm -hmm. We are meant to be vessels of that power. But that power is not, the power is not of us. All right, now. It's the power of the Holy Ghost in us yes, as yes. we yield ourselves. To uh, him. Yes. My as we yield ourselves to him. Mm, mm. You know, I don't know where God is going to take this ministry. As Andy says, this, this ministry is, is, is God is going to raise it up. It's going to explode. But I tell you what, it's only going to explode as we keep Jesus at the center. Yes. 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 Jesus has to be at the center. Yes. If right. self is at the center or anything else, oh, anyone no, else no. at the center. It's not happening. It ain't happening. Jesus has to be at the core. Come on. At the middle. Yes. He has to be the one. He is the divining rod. Hallelujah. If it's not about Jesus, come on. Yes. Hallelujah. It's not gonna work. Yes. Hallelujah. It might work. It might look like it's working to come the on. rest of the world. They might say, "Wow!" But if it's not on come Jesus. On. Yes. It's on the wrong foundation. Hallelujah. It's on the wrong foundation. Yes. 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 Amen. Listen. Hallelujah. If God needed to change, imagine, imagine a God that needed to change for us. Imagine a God that couldn't make up his mind whether he wanted to be on this or that or whether he believed this. Imagine a God that changed as we changed. God doesn't have to change as we change. God is, as I said earlier, he is a standard. God don't move. Yes. God is right here. Thank you, thank Everybody you. come to me. This is how I am. I'm not changing. I'm not changing. A man is a man is a man. Right. A man is not a woman. I don't care what he does. A man is still a man. man. Right. He didn't change his mind. All right. He didn't change his mind. Right. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I am who I said I am. That's right. That's right. God has not flinched. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Come on. God has not moved. That's now, the right. world would say, well, for God, if God knows how you want to be. That's right. Mm. And God knows what makes people yes. happy. Yes. And so God allows yes. people to do what it is that they want to do to make themselves happy. Yes. 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 Listen. Yes. Listen. Come on. Come on. You're talking this now. God don't move. Come on. God is right here. Yeah, he's right, yes. here. right here. Okay. Yes. You can do what you want and say what you want. Mm. But it is what it is. Mm -hmm. God in James chapter 1 mm -hmm. and verse 17. Every good gift yes. and oh, every perfect gift yeah. is from yeah. above. Come on, good and, and cometh down from the Father Come on. of lights, yes. with whom no. there is yes. no variable yes. and no shadow of turning. Amen. We serve a God that does not change. Yes. Jesus yes. Christ, the yes. same 
yesterday, today, and forever. He is not moving. His stand is the stand. And if you want to be with him, you got to gather around. Because he's not going to be swayed. By the morals That's of right. men and women. Yes, he man. is who he is. Yes, yes, step yes. on board. And if you don't, then you step out. That's right. Right. That's right. Ah. Yeah. He is yeah. who he is. That's right. He is who he is. And he's yeah. not going to change. Come and he's on. not going to bow. Come on. He's not going to bow. Thank you. Thank First you. Kings 18, 21. Mm. Elijah came unto all the people and said, yes. How long? How long? How long? How long halt ye between yes, two yes. opinions? Mm -hmm. yes. If the Lord be God, yes, yes, yes. follow him. Yes. Amen. But if Baal, mm -hmm. then follow him. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the people yes. answered him not yes. a word. Mm -hmm. Listen, we are the church. Come on, that's right. We're the church. Let's make no mistake about it. We are the church. And we cannot continue to hop. That's what that word halt between. To hop. Jump back and forth mm -hmm. between two opinions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's in our churches and on a personal level. If God is God, serve him. Serve him. That's right. Get real. Get real. Serve God. Thank you. If you think he's God, serve him like he's God. Serve him like he's God. Don't serve him on Sunday. Come on. Talk to me. What you do mm. in between Sundays matters. Mm -hmm. In between Sundays matters. That's right. I'm glad folk come to church on Sunday. I'm so I'm so happy that people show up on Sunday. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Thank you. Praise him. But what happens on Monday, mm -hmm. Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday, God. and Saturday mm -hmm. is a direct result of what happened on Sunday. All right, That's right. Know this, that as soon as you walk out of here, Come on. whatever Come on. seed the Spirit of God has been planting in your heart, whatever seed that you receive, Come on. Come on. Satan will come and try to take that thing out. Yes. 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 That's right. He's going to come and try to take it out. Come on. Come on. Before it can germinate, before it yes. can find root, yes. the devil will try and come, come and steal this thing out sure. of your heart. Take it out. He's going to come. He's going to come. I was. <laughs> I was. When was this? Oh, it was a couple of weeks ago. And just to show you that it doesn't matter how long you've been in the faith. Just to show you that it doesn't matter how long you've been preaching or how much you believe or how much you know. Let me take you back to my house two weeks ago when I was in my little study area. It was late. One, two o'clock. They got these infomercials that come on. I don't know if y'all know. I don't know if y'all be up late at night. But sometimes I'm up late at night. Come on. And they got these infomercials that come on. And they got this one with these old school Motown songs from way, way back in the day. And I'm just, I got the thing. I got, I got my Bible open, y'all. <laughs> I got my Bible open. The TV is just there. I can't even hardly hear it. And so I just take a little half a break, and I'm just dun, dun, dun. And I came across, it said, Time Life. And I said, what's this yeah. here? And then the music. And I said, oh! <laughs> I said, that's my song! <laughs> yeah, that's my song right there! And so, and so... And so Brother Michael is sitting in front of his TV at 2 o'clock in the morning with his Bible open, jamming to old school bow tie. <laughs> that ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. <laughs> but I heard, see, I heard the little, I heard the little, Guitar. guitar. I, I, this, this, this is what I heard. This is what I. Uh, this is what I heard that made me stop everything. I heard, and, and when I say it, don't all break out into the song. <laughs> when I heard it, this is what I heard. I heard. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I heard that, and <laughs> we human. I heard that, and it was a hook. I heard that little guitar, and I know the song attached to it, and attached to the song are memories, and all that stuff came whoosh, right in. And I got my Bible open, and all these memories, and I'm waiting on what's the next song. What's the next song? And I'm sitting there with my Bible at the desk, and I'm just waiting for the next song to come up, and, and my mind is going is racing so hard. I want them to get to the middle or the end where they have. The, I'm gonna get this. I, I'm, I'm gonna send away. I said, "What?" And when it was over, I said, "Now, what did you just do? <laughs> what in the world is wrong with you? You know, you're not gonna send away for that music. <laughs> what am I gonna do with that? That's right. That's right. I'm gonna come here and sing all these songs here, but I'm gonna go home and listen to some Motown. <laughs> Oh, that don't work. Let's not get it twisted. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's some good old music. Well, 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 chill. well, for me, yeah. for me, music. for me, Amen. okay, let me, let me put it this way. I minister on a regular basis. All right. On a regular basis. I can't, music used to be my thing. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, Mike. Come I used to That's love right. me some on, music. That's right. Back in the day when I was growing up, I wanted to be a DJ. You didn't know that, did you? I bet you didn't know that. I wanted to be a DJ. You didn't know that either, did you? I wanted to be a DJ. And so I knew I, I, I knew music from 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 everywhere. Rock music, soul music, R and B music. The only music that I didn't like when it came out was rap. I never did like rap. I still don't like rap. But, sorry. <laughs> I can't, I, for me, I can't surround myself with that type of music because it's just, it's just not who I am anymore. But, it's still... You see, I've been taken out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. I don't live in Egypt anymore. Come on, come on, that's right. But it's still some Egypt in me. That's right, that's right. 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 It's still some Egypt in me. So when I hear the old song from back in the day, something happens, something bubbles up in me and it wants to... Get reach it. out and, yeah. and get some of that. Come on, come on. Tell the truth, Pastor. But I know right. who I am. Come on, come on. I know I'm a child of God. I know for me, I can't reach out. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's right. That's right. And so, remember who you are. Praise God. If the That's Lord right. be God, let Him be God. Serve Him. That's right. Serve Him. And if not. Then serve Baal. Listen, I've had the discussion many times with folks at my church, and they tell me that it's no problem with drinking or whatever. Listen, 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 listen. If you want to drink, that's on you. I know for me, I minister. Okay. And so, if I Open a bud or have a little drinky drink and and, yes, and I go yes. come on, come on. My sister, oh, no. Jesus loves you. <laughs> and she smelled that gin. <laughs> and she smelled that butt on my on my breath. Oh, she ain't caring about no Jesus. <laughs> you think you care about Jesus? Uh-huh. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not drunk. I'm not lit up. But I just had a little, you know, little, little, little taste, little taste, you know. Jesus loves you. He can do something in your life. I can be as filled with the Holy Ghost as I want to be. If, but if I if my breath smell like some bud and some drink and some whatever. Are you gonna pay attention to me? No. <laughs> I know you're not. That's right. I know you're not. Especially the. Especially the. 
What you trying to say, man? What you trying to say? Nah, nah. No, you're right. You're right. So we have to make sure, make sure that we, as the Bible says, keep in step with the Spirit. Amen. If you walk in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. On that night, I can't even say my guard was down. I mean, it was just, I won't call it innocent because I did it, but the thing is, here's how crazy the human mind is. Listen, folk, my Bible was right open in front of me. My Bible was right open in front of me. And, and I'm sitting there enjoying that music. Waiting for the next one. It was, it was good to me. <laughs> she ain't let me go. It was good. It was good. It was good. And I'm watching it. And I'm watching the whole film. And, the, and, and, and my Bible was right here. And then when the half hour was over, it's like. You're right. You're right. Jesus. What? Jesus. But that's. Who we are. Yes, yes. That's who we are. That's just one instance. We have to just simply make sure as the new year comes that we're walking as he wants us to walk. Amen. In prayer, in fellowship. As we listen, as we see, make sure that we are walking in the places where the Lord has called us. Amen. Have to make sure. You see, when I began going to the church I go to right now, I'll close with this. When I began going to that church, I was fresh out of Broken Tabernacle. And I was entrenched in Broken Tabernacle. I was in there and I was a teacher and they were building a new place and we were ready to move into the new place and I was going to be going to the new place and I was all set to go. All set to go. Ready. All down through the years. Listen, me and this woman, woman, this woman, women, me and this woman were for 12 years going to two different churches. Wow. Two different churches. She was going to one church. I was going to for 12 years. Because we were at a we were at a standstill. No one wanted to move. She was going to the church she was going to. I was going to Broken Tabernacle. And we were both going there at one time. But she left. And I said, you don't jump on me. How many women here? One, two, three. <laughs> I gotta count because I don't wanna I don't wanna right. We all know. We got well, y'all protect me. Y'all protect me then. Y'all protect me. Alright? I said I'm over here at this church. You the woman. You supposed to come to the church of Muhammad. And she said, No. God called me over here. And so I said, no, God is not in the business of separating families. You belong with me right here. She said, no, God called me here. I said, well, God called me here. I said, so you stay there. So I stay here. And we stay like that. For 12 years. Wow. 12 years. And the whole time, the pastor over there is, is calling and talking to her and telling her, Tell your husband to come. She would come home every couple of years or every few months. <laughs> Michael, the pastor said he wants you to come. I said, you go tell your pastor. I said, no. <laughs> I said, no. I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Okay? And so this went on for several years. We lost our son. Then uh, less than a year later, we lost our daughter. Wow. And it was around that time that I began to hear from the Lord. I began to hear from the Lord. He began to speak very clearly. Very clearly. 
he said, you must go. I thought, it was the same voice and the same words I heard when I left Coney Island Gospel Assembly. Mm -hmm. Same words. I was in trend. I wasn't moving from that place. I wasn't moving. I'm staying here. This is my church. I was saved here. I'm going to die here. This is my church. Mm -hmm. Place was falling apart, but I said, I'm staying right here. <laughs> and I prayed and I heard, You must go. And I heard it. You must go. You must go. That's right. Obedience. And I said, This must be a mistake. <laughs> I am very American. <laughs> The church my wife go to is very Haitian. I don't speak Creole. I don't speak French. I don't belong there, Lord. You must go. Pastor, she came. Pastor said, we need to ask you to come. Tell him okay. <laughs> I said, okay. I went to my church. I told him I was leaving. And I showed up at the church feeling lost. But even though I felt lost, I knew I was in the place where I was supposed to be. All right. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you are in the place where you're supposed to be. Amen. It was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time that God put me at work. Because that's the only way to be when you're in church. You don't want to be just a person that sits back and listens. Come on, come on. Oh, that's, 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 that's not, that's not, no, you don't want to do that. So as soon as I got there, I got there early for Sunday school one day, and I went upstairs, and I'm not a teacher. I'm, they don't even know me. And it was a bunch of young people just sitting there with no teacher. And I'm sitting in the back. So I said, hmm. I went up to the front. I stood up. And they're looking at me. <laughs> Some of them knew, oh, that's that's Sister Edie's husband. They don't even know my that's Sister Edie's husband. Do you know to this day some of the people at that church call me Brother Edie? <laughs> Brother Edie. <laughs> Brother Edie. <laughs> And they told me, they're looking at me. And so I start teaching. It's what I do. I started teaching. And the teacher is late. He comes upstairs about 20 minutes late. He comes upstairs. So I said, you the teacher? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He said, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I kept on teaching. Next week, same thing happened. I'm sitting in the back. Teacher not there. I sat up in the front. Started teaching. Teacher come up. I said, hey, I'm not trying to take it. He said, oh, don't worry about it. He sat in the back. I taught. Never seen that teacher again. <laughs> he never came back. <laughs> I got the job by default. He never showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that you are in the place where God has put you. God will put you to work. Amen. God will put you to work. So in this coming year, just make sure. Make sure that you begin to put pieces to the puzzle. Because right now it might be some things that look like they're missing. But give God a chance in your life. Amen. Because I know you don't see the whole picture yet. But God is working some things out. Yes, yes, yes. He's still putting the pieces together. I don't know how God is going to work all of this out. But let God have his way. This is what we say at our church all the time. Let God have his way. For God to have his way, it means you're going to have to surrender. Yes. You're going to have to let some stuff go. You're going to have to step back and just let God take over. Yes. The hardest thing to do is let somebody else take over. Yes. Yes. But if you want to see God's best, let yes. God do That's it. Right. Yes. Let God do it. Bow your heads, please. Please, bow your heads. Amen. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your people, Lord Jesus. Somebody here today, and you are not sure where you are in your life. 
You're sort of in a limbo. You're not here, you're not there, and you really don't know what's going on in your own personal life. And you're at that place in your life where you know that you need a, a shaking. Mm-hmm. A good shaking. To shake some things free from your life that are just clinging on to you. If you're here today and you just want to pray, just lift up your hand. Just lift up your hand. Just lift up your hand. I, I just need to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I just, I just need to pray. I got some stuff. I got some stuff, and that's the only, yes. that's the only way I can describe what's going on in my life right now. I just got some stuff yes. Yes. happening in my life right now that begs description. I don't know what's happening. So, Lord, I want you to. I need your help. I need your help. Yes. Is there anybody else before we pray? Before we pray, is anybody else? Jesus. Going into the new year, it's a lot of uncertainty. Yes. You've already been through a lot of changes this past year, and I guarantee you there's more changes coming. But if you can handle those changes with Jesus, you will see great things happen in your life. Jesus does make things better. He does make things better. He really does. If you lift up your hand. I just want you to stand up where you are. Stand up where you are if you lift it up your hand. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, have your way in our hearts, Lord Jesus. Jesus, like never before, we need you, Lord. Lord, there's so many things, so many things going on in the world, Lord Jesus. The world is in an upheaval, and sometimes our lives mirror what's going on in the world. Sometimes our lives are in an upheaval, Lord Jesus. But Lord, we ask you, Lord, to have your way, Lord Jesus. But we believe, but we believe in your power. We know that it's only your power that will bring deliverance. Yes, yes. We know it's only your power that's going to bring release. Yes. We know it's only your power that's going to bring us to the place where we need to be in our life, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we don't want to give the devil a chance to get his foot in the door. Yes, yes, yes. So Lord. We trust in you today. Yes. We trust in you. Lord, I pray that you have your way. Lord, we take ourselves back to the cross. Back to the place where we first received you. Lord, it's at the cross where we found our deliverance. And it's the cross where we will continue to find our deliverance. Lord, make yourself known. Make yourself real to your people. Lord, your people are crying out. Lord, we're not putting up any fences, any pretenses, Lord Jesus. We're not trying to be somebody that we're not. Lord, we need you. Yes, Lord. We need you. We cry out to you, Lord Jesus. We cry out to you, Lord Jesus. Lord, this thing called sin is running rampant. Yes, my God. Lord, it runs rampant in the church. Lord, this thing called sin runs rampant in the pulpits, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you might have your way, Lord Jesus. Move by your power, Lord Jesus. Help us to walk in your light, Lord Jesus. Help us to walk in your will, Lord Jesus. Help us to walk according to your precepts, Lord Jesus. Lord, like never before, we call upon you, Lord Jesus. We call upon you, Lord Jesus. Lord, the devil is a liar. He's the father of lies. We know that he will not be victorious. Lord, no matter how it may seem, Lord, we know. That his defeat is sure. So Lord Jesus, have your way. Have your way. Walk among us right here in this place. 
Lord, let your fire fall in this place, even right now, Lord Jesus. Lord, let your Holy Ghost move in this place, Lord Jesus. Set a fire, Lord Jesus. Lord, we need revival, but Lord, before revival can come to the church, it needs to come to us. Lord, revive us, Lord Jesus. Revive us, Lord Jesus. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your spirit, Lord Jesus. Lord, move as only you can move, Lord Jesus. Lord, have your way. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Move by your mighty power. Move by your mighty power. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. 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 Have